Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been MIA for like a month. I haven't posted anything. It's just because I was focusing on my health and I was focusing on my training and I was like just all over the place with my relationship and with my family and I just turned 23 so I was just in my zone you know that moment when you're like, okay, I'm just getting a year older. I need to get my shit together and like understand what I really want in life. I know what I really want in life, but it's taking a lot of my energy physically, mentally. And I'm just like, like girl, what's up next? So I'm sorry if, um, if I was MI or you guys thought I finished or stopped making YouTube videos, I did not. And hopefully I will not stop making YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, today I'm doing uh, the Kim Kardashian inspired look. As you guys saw from the thumbnail and the title below, I am super excited to create this look because when I saw this look, this look inspired me so much. I was like, I gotta do a look right now. Like I just need to do my shit like this is the shit like i'm so inspired and yeah kim kardashian always inspires me and i'm hoping one day i get to meet her and you know just ch chat with her you know what i mean i guess so yeah guys if you guys want to know how i created this look honestly guys i had some really hard time creating this look because i'm already wearing my lashes on but it was like super annoying to put liner on top of lashes like i was annoyed like seriously it was a mess but i like how it all turned out to be i mean it's not the best but i actually i like it i like how it looks on my face and after such a long time i finally get to film something so i was like i gotta just post it i just need to post it I mean, I want to let you guys know I'm here and uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, please continue watching uh, this video and if you like the look, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because your girl is trying so hard to reach 500 uh, subscribers at least and I I would really appreciate if you guys would share it with your friends and family and uh, help me hit 500. That would mean a lot. So yeah, uh, let's get into the video now. It's a voiceover, so I hope you all enjoy it. All right, I have already cleaned and prepped my face. Now I'll take my liquid highlighter. Since I want the makeup look to have a very matte finish, I'll apply the highlighter before even applying the foundation. This will give me a dewy finish. Yes, keep my makeup looking matte, but at the same time glowing and dewy. That is the reason why I have applied the liquid highlighter before my foundation. Um, it's actually a very good tip if you do like a matte finish but underneath you like some glow and some dewiness and I'm just taking a fluffy brush by uh, Real Techniques and buffing that into my skin and yeah now I'm taking the perfect matte liquid foundation by Dolce & Gabbana uh, I'll apply that with my fingers because it feels super natural and it gives a very nice magical coverage and honestly it just changed my whole like perspective of applying foundation with my fingers i mean it like blends in so smoothly as you guys can see and um yeah i mean honestly the best and then i'm taking my fit me foundation by maybelline uh just to give myself some extra coverage dewiness uh, to my skin and I'm using my Tarte Beauty Blender just to blend that in on the corners of my face the areas where my fingers can't reach so you know just a beauty blender will help blend all that into my face my skin and it will just turn out to be perfect you guys these two combos are the best Next step is to conceal them dark under eyes with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And since this look is inspired by Kim Kardashian, I need to go all crazy for that extra gorgeous full coverage under the eye and on the highest point of my face. 
it needs to pop and now i'm here taking my quid contour and this is by tarte and i've just used my fingers as you guys saw earlier and i'm just applying that just sculpting my face uh, i'm using a brush first and then the beauty blender just to remove any excess product the picture i was inspired by was full-on matte coverage and it was super sculpted so of course i had to use the baking technique to get that kim k vibe so i'm starting off with my eyes and i'm using the mario palette taking the shade hollywood and applying that on my brow bone and then i'm taking the shade isabel and putting that onto my crease and giving that warmth onto my crease then i'll take the shade lula and deepen up my crease uh, this will create a cut crease effect and give my give the eye a very beautiful shape as you guys will see now whatever is left from the concealer brush i'll apply that onto my lids gently and then secure it with the shade unity from anastasia anastasia prism palette as you guys can see the shade is gorgeous it just packs everything together so nicely and i just love the formula of it now i'll just brighten my waterline with a white or maybe neutral pencil this is from makiyaji and then i'll just apply my liner this is also by makiyaji cosmetics and then i'm gonna be onto my brows just brushing them in and filling them in just a normal brow i really don't take so much time to fix my brows and I'm just gonna bronze up my face to further sculpt my cheekbones and then I'm just gonna take a brown lip pencil this is Spice by MAC and just you know fill in my lips with that and I'm just gonna casually apply a gloss a brown gloss and that's about it and yeah here you have it a complete look inspired by Kim Alright guys, uh, this is the end of the look and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I really enjoyed honestly making this look, creating this look. I finally sat down and did film this look. So I hope you all enjoy it and if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up again and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me hit 500 subscribers and yes, thank you so much. 